Hey YouTube, it's the Strange Weasel here again, and today I am going to be showing you guys how to free up RAM, which is random access memory, on your computer that way it can run much faster than it already does. Now, the first thing that you guys are going to want to do is go to Control Panel, System and Security, view amount of RAM and processor speed, advanced system settings, system protection, and then configure. Alright, when this pops up you will see your current usage here. Right now mine is only zero bytes which is, which is basically nothing because I recently cleaned out my system restore and got about like four or five GB back but that's only because I used it before. The first times I used it I, I um, um, freed up like eight or nine GB of space. But yeah, what you're gonna wanna do is click the delete option and then this will pop up and then just click continue then close and then OK. The next thing that you guys are going to want to do is to lower visuals. Now the way to lo lower visuals is to go to control panel again, system and security, view amount of RAM and processor speed, advanced system settings, advanced, and then in performance click settings. Now, in here, you guys are going to want to adjust for best performance, not best appearance, but for best performance. Now, this will definitely put your computer as, um, I mean, it will configure your computer to look like an old Windows XP computer. I, I uh, only chose a few options here because I didn't want it to completely look like that. So, um, yeah, after you do that, all I gotta do is click apply and then OK. <sighs> the next thing that you guys are gonna wanna do is to remove screensaver. Now, in order to remove your screensaver, just click your desktop background and then click personalize. And then click screensaver if you have one and then this will pop up. Now if you have a screensaver here, then all you gotta do is scroll down to the option that says none and then click apply then OK. The next thing that you're, you guys are gonna wanna do is to disable hibernation. Now the way to disable hibernation is to um, run command prop as administrator now you have to do it as administrator or else it won't work but yeah run it as administrator yes and then what you're gonna wanna do is type in power cfg negative h off just copy and paste now next you're gonna wanna click enter or return. That will configure hibernation to be off. Since I already have um, hibernation off, I'm not going to do it again. Next thing that you are going to want to do is to run CCleaner. To run CCleaner, you guys are going to have to download it from the description, which I'm going to um, have. have uh, but yeah, after you download it, just go, um, click on it, and then in here, it will show a lot of things that you can delete here. Now, all you gotta do is, um, check everything that you want to delete. If you don't want anything deleted, if, just, um, untick the boxes. But if you do want them deleted, just tick them. And then also go to Applications, and this will all clear. Um, your browser history and other things be sure to read all of that before deleting it because I know that most of y'all probably have information that you would actually want to keep and then just click run seek one run cleaner and then wait for it to finish next thing that you're gonna want to do 
is to delete all temp files. Now, in order to delete temp files, you are going to want to go to start menu and then type in percent T E M P percent and then click enter. Then um, a list of files will pop up. Now, in order to select all of them without having to scroll down the list and just um, select all of them one by one, what you're going to want to do is just tick one and then press C T R R L and A together. And then right click and then click delete. And then yes. Then click continue if something pops up like this. Wait for it to transfer to the recycle bin. And then if anything um, like this um, folder access denied pops up, you can just skip it. Because that means that it's currently in use by something. These are my um, recording files. So um, yeah, I can't delete them yet. Now, the next thing that you're going to want to do is unselect startup programs. Now, in order to do this, you're going to want to go to Start Menu and then type in Run. And then type in MS Config. And then click OK or Enter. And now, you're going to want to go to the Startup tab. Now in here you will see a list of programs that um, you can choose to run at startup. Right now I just want these because Cursor FX is my cursor, Avast is my antivirus, and Java is, um, I don't know what that is but I know what's needed. But yeah, you can just untick the boxes of things that you don't want running at startup because they are just running in the background and they just use up extra GB. So yeah. After you do that, just click apply and then OK. Next thing that you're going to want to do is power usage. Now, in order to um, do that, you're going to want to go to control panel, system and security, then power options. Now, if you are already in high performance, you don't have to worry about that. But if you are in balanced recommended, you can just click this. It will use up more of your battery life, but if you really want to increase in performance, you can just tick this. Now, the last and final thing that you guys are going to want to do to free up RAM and make your PC faster is to lower recycle bin space. Now I saved this for last because um, this doesn't work for a lot of people. Now what this decides is exactly how much um, your recycle bin can handle before it can't handle any more files. So say you want to delete a file and then it gets moved to the recycle bin. If it's over the required amount of um, space available for the recycle bin then you will have to raise it up so you can just lower it to anything you want um, I actually recommend like nothing below 5,000 but you can make it whatever you want and for some people it's gonna be um, some kind of thing where you can slide it well you can just slide it to like 5% or 1% whatever you want just re, um, lower it to the required space that you want it to have and then click OK. So YouTube, those are pretty much all the things that I that I know about um, speeding up your computer. That's all for today. Bye YouTube!